Welcome to the new gathering of the party comrades. Spinach. Not exactly people's favorite food. But that's because maybe you didn't have a Slav grandma teach you how to eat it in the best way possible. Especially if it's a spinach pastry with a lot of carbs. Can't go wrong with the carbs they say. For this spinach pastry you need 300 to 350 grams of feta cheese, the same amount of curds or cottage cheese, 40 grams of butter, 3 eggs, 150 grams of egg whites or just add 3 more eggs. Salt, pepper, 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 salt, this is the spinach I was using by the way, a frozen one works perfectly fine, but if you have the time you can steam some 2 kilos of spinach as it will shrink, cut it down with a knife and use it instead. After that you enter the secret codes for the Slavic sequence for making this spinach pastry. As a first step crack your eggs into a bowl, get surprised as one of the eggs was boiled. Replace it with a raw one and pray to the gods that Babushka will notice her boiled egg is missing. Add in the egg whites or 3 more eggs depending on which part you went. Melt your butter somehow, I use the microwave. After that salt your eggs and let them meet their fate by whisking. Once whisk add your yogurt which I forgot to mention in the product section, 200 grams should do the job. Add in one tablespoon of baking powder, the acidity from the yogurt will make it activate, mix again until a milky eggy liquid is formed. After that, add in your cheese and curds, you can go full cheese or full curds by the way, so feel free to use whatever you want or, or have. Mix again until homogeneous and add in the already melted butter. Mix for a final time and our filling is almost done. Transfer one third of it into another bowl, we'll need it for the top of our pastry. After that start adding the spinach into the bigger chunk of our filling. Mix until it looks disgusting. Open up your fill of pastry and make sure everything is fine with it. Take your best tava and oil it with sunflower goodness. Use a brush for best distribution. Add in two fill sheets at a time. Add generous amount of the mix with, well of course the ladle. Spread well and cover with two more filo sheets. Repeat the process multiple times, make sure you have your last two sheets for the top layer. When you close the pastry it's time to get the forgotten filling which we separated. Pour it on top and spray it well. It will get a nice golden brown color once baked. Put it into a heated oven with a fan if you have one. The fan in my opinion cooks the whole pastry more evenly. Bake it at 200 Celsius or 396 Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes or until a nice color has developed. Slav difficulty level, 2 out of 5 I would say. Daži minus 2 men kuma pitaš. As we prepared very similar things in past videos, so you should be already aware of the process of making a good banica. The spinach will make it very soft and juicy and at the same time if you ignore the green color it does not have any strange taste or anything. Uh, this is especially for the people who do not enjoy spinach very much. 
uh, I really enjoy it though and it's a quite nice way to bring more volume into your food. This is how our pastry looks like. It has developed a nice golden brown color on the top as I said. In the same time it's soft and juicy on the inside. Exactly how I like it. Let's take a piece out of it and give it a taste. It's perfect for breakfast and this is how we most often use it. It may remind you of some weird version of lasagna by the way. Also you can eat it for lunch or dinner too. And it's quite easy to bring it to school or work. This is all from me comrades. Love you next time. Heidi. Ciao with me. Ciao.